Alex, are you all right? <sighs> okay. Uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but... Jonas, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he... D did you see him somewhere here? I, I was... It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. How have you been? Any, uh, terror? My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win. Better than it could have been, I guess. But if the radio's the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Have you seen her or heard from her? Yes, but... Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. It's like the Chateau de... Ah, uh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... Keys, they... they... Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help.
It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking. I don't care what she says. Just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Haha, -ha, carry on. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know what? Better than friggin' ever. I feel like I've never stopped winning since we landed. I think you're a liar, but it's good to hear for some reason anyway. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the... the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss... I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Ugh. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Uh, put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kids better than. Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... chest is all it says. 
29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative, but maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories? Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest, but who cares? Let's just go. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. Well, an oil, man. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Ren, are you... Are you all right? We're in a... We're in a time loop thing. Jonas, up and at him. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed, signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing to apologize for. Trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear, the point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Why is that called? Is it, are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models have been the x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. In another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... I not... spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Oh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Jonas, come on, snap out of it. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Where is he? Where'd you take him? Don't 
Don't you mind? I'll let this be a teachable moment for you. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day, over the hills and far away. Mommy duck called quack, quack, quack. But four, three... The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret, Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your t You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some some accident. We never had our time that was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on our axe, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Well, that could have gone better. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. She, uh, tried, kinda. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. We could... I mean, using the radio to tune into that triangle thing in the cave started it, so I don't know, maybe tuning it differently or something will fix it? Yeah, or if your car is on fire, you could just pour gasoline on it, right? Well, maybe she has a point. Why do the one thing that we know got us all flummoxed again? It's all I can think of at the moment, all right? Maybe it, I don't know, maybe it works like a door and we can somehow figure out how to, you know, close it. Good grief. 
Look, if Clarissa's in the cave, then we'll have to go there anyway, so we'll put a, a, a pin in it. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the uh... Sweet, they're learning. Boo! S okay, all right, we get it. You can, uh... Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just... I mean, can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <sighs> yes. Don't we need, like, access codes or something like that? Actually, I doubt it. It'll probably be tied to, like, the military radios and, well, we stole them, so... Well, the system works. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't. <laughs>